Hey and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know, my name is Ryuta and I primarily upload content related to photography and videography with a focus on underwater photography and wildlife as that is what I enjoy the most. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing one of my favorite lenses in my kit right now, which is the Sigma 100-400mm zoom lens. Out of the lenses that I own right now, this is one of the lenses that I use the most and I thought it was about time that I tried to do a quick review on this lens while showing you some of the photos and videos that I've taken with this lens. So let's start by looking at the lens itself and all the functions that it comes with. There are four switches overall. The first one is the autofocus to manual focus switch. Next is a three position focus limiter. A focus hold button right here. And finally, a switch for the optical stabilization modes. The OS-1 is pretty good for general photography and then the OS-2 is usually for panning shots or horizontal movements. And here is the lens at the max focal length of 400mm. Even with the lens hood attached like this, the lens itself isn't actually too big relative to the other zoom lenses. Weighing in at just over 1kg, the lens itself is actually very compact for the focal length that it covers. And finally there is a lock button which will lock your lens at 100mm focal length. However, it doesn't work at the other focal lengths, just at the 100mm. Overall, I think it's a very well built lens and it's actually surprisingly compact and lightweight so it's very portable and I don't have uh, much problem carrying it around all day if I need to when I'm out shooting. And it fits into my camera bag very nicely like this. Next, let's look at the price of the lens quickly. By no means is this a cheap lens but compared to the other options that you have for a zoom lens for Sony cameras then it is probably one of the best value for money that you're going to get. I took these prices off of Amazon when I was filming this video and as you can see it's about a third of the price of the Sony GM lens which is the same focal length. And I think this is one of the strongest points of this lens is that the price is so cheap compared to the other alternatives and the amount of quality you get for the price is very very good. Now let's move on to some of the photos that I've actually taken with this lens. I'll try to put up the settings that I use to take each photo on the screen alongside the photo examples. Let's start with these photos of some wild birds. As you can see in this photo, with this lens you can really blur out the background and keep the subject very very sharp. And this is the uncropped version of this shot. So you can see that the branch in the foreground is out of focus, the background is out of focus, but the subject is very very sharp. And when you crop back in, the amount of detail left in the photo is very very nice. Now onto some photos where the birds are actually flying in the air. The auto's focus speed on the lens is actually pretty good. And I had no trouble catching up to these birds focus wise. And you can see even the water droplets in the air are very sharp. Here are a couple more photos of animals in movement. And now these are shots taken closer to sunset where I would have upped the F value and, and the colours came out pretty nicely although these are all edited in Lightroom. Next let's take a look at some photos I took at each of the different focal lengths of this lens. Next I'm going to shoot something which is a bit further right and in the shadow. There's a small heron I think it is on the other side of the bank so I'm going to shoot a couple photos of that. So let's start at 100mm at f6.3. And then I'm going to zoom all the way into 400 and it looks like this. At 300 it looks like this. At 200, like this. And distance, I'm not very good with like eye distance, but I think maybe just under 10 meters away. The 
And here is a video I shot of that bird at 400mm handheld and I definitely don't recommend shooting wildlife with a zoom lens handheld, you definitely need a tripod but this was just to show you an example and you can probably see that especially at 400m there is a lot of blur when I'm trying to hold this lens still. And now onto the focus view of the lens. So I've actually used the Sony GM zoom lens a couple of times and the focus speed on that lens feels a little faster than the Sigma version. However, the focus speed on this lens is by no means slow. It's definitely fast enough to capture pictures of most animals, most wild animals, even in flight like I showed you in the pictures before. So unless you have lots of extra money lying around and you can easily afford the Sony GM lenses, I definitely think this lens is very great value for its price. And the focus speed is definitely fast, just not as fast as the Sony lens. And I think that is going to be it for this video. If you're thinking or are on the edge of buying this lens, then I personally would definitely recommend going for it as it's such a good lens for the price it costs. And I think it will definitely widen the kind of photography that you'll be able to do. And yeah, that is going to be it for this video. So please consider liking and subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. And as always, I will see you in the next video.